Caroline Peterson. I'm a chiropractic physician, retired midwife, and researcher. I'm going to show you today how to check for erectus abdominis diastasis. That's when the big muscle in the front of your belly comes open. It can come open in the top, it can come open just around the belly button, it can come open on the bottom or all the way. Um, and that is very common in pregnancy. Um, and it can happen with other things too, like um, beer bellies, they can do it also. Any kind of um, obesity um, or surgeries can make it happen too. It's super important that that gets zipped back up to create um, the proper relationship of everything in your body. Without that abdominal wall strength, strength then you're going to start having organs falling down and you're going to have problems breathing, you're going to get incontinent, there's going to be a lot of problems. So this is really key to everything. Um, so I'm going to show you how to check for it. Um, so you're going to lay on your back. Your, la your, your knees are going to be bent. You're going to put your, your fingers here by the bone at the bottom of your rib cage, the xiphoid. Then you're going to lift your head up and you're gonna feel and put it down. And you're gonna see if your fingers go in any further or if they separate some. It should just feel flat and there should be resistance throughout the whole thing. It shouldn't feel like you're going into a little valley. And then you're gonna lift your head again, you're gonna go down again to the belly button. So you don't wanna lift your head up the whole time, check the whole thing a few times. Because what that's doing is that's creating too much intra-abdominal pressure and that will put you at risk for making the, the diastasis worse if you have one. And honestly, you're checking yourself because you think you have one and you probably do. So, and then you'll do the same thing below the belly button. And so, if you have that diastasis, um, then a lot of times right after a pregnancy, you know, pretty much everybody's going to have that and the midwife will say, well, or the OB, I don't know if they commented on it or not, but the midwife will say, you know, let's just see what happens. And, but I always like to get people started on their um, exercises as soon as possible because basically it's just re-engaging the core with a few simple ones, not the complicated ones. Um, and then if it doesn't close up any more than that, then we'll go into the more complicated um, exercises later on when you've recovered more um, from having the baby.